Hey everybody, this is Garrett from GS Lighting Solutions and welcome to another quick tip tutorial. On this episode, I want to show you how to understand the playback options on the Camsys Magic Cube PC. Let's get right into it. I wanted to go over some of the different options that you have on your Q stack. So let's say you're back out here, um, but you're kind of like on your default screen and you wanted to change an attribute on the Q stack itself. You want to double click on the bank itself so that you bring up the Q. Now these are the different options you have on each Q. Um, it's the same on all of them so it keeps it simple. You have your Q text. This is great if you need to kind of label a Q to be something specific. You have your fade times, your delay times, and your timing as well. Right here I want to show you view options. So you have different options on for your fader, your buttons, function, activate, release, advanced, chase, chase times, and audio. So you can put in an audio input and all that. Let's go ahead and start off with fader. So you, you can tell the fader to activate when you bring it up and to release when you bring the fader back down. You can have it control the HTP, the LTP, you can have it control the absolutes, effect size, effect speed. These two right here are really great if you're using effect palettes. So let's say you have a chase effect just put onto a bank over here. You can activate that chase effect and then control the size or the speed of the effect with your fader button. Um, this is really helpful for shows where you're kind of actively involved with the show. Um, it's not just a kind of pre-recorded click, click, click to the next cue type of uh, show. So next we're going to head over to our buttons. The flash buttons, these ones up here, you can have them do the same thing. Activate, release, flash always swaps, flash acts as pause, go, flash plus go, toggles, um, and all that. Next is our functions. Q stack is an intensity master. Q stack is a size master, a speed master, group ID, ID, intensity master to 200 is a program master. Okay. So now here is another one that you probably are be interested in. It is the activate and release. So halt at last step, release after last step, releases first step, releases step one one step so right here is a really great one you want to kind of look at this especially if you use your faders um, to control your show is your release time so you double click on that and let's say I want three seconds so every time I release a cue it'll take three seconds to release on that cue all right, now let's go head over to advanced. You can do different things. You can, um, you have a little more different types of controls. So you can say all the cue banks, controlled LTP, block effects from other playbacks, masters, effect levels, playback priority normal. Um, I like this function here, move when dark. This kind of allows the light itself to kind of pre-position to the next cue, especially if you have cues where you have blackouts and other things. So that is a very helpful cue. Okay, next we want to go to our chase options. So these are kind of like the default chase options. X fade 1.8 seconds, skip first time running. So basically and then same thing with cute chase times and then audio controls layer so and then these are all the different parameters for audio so these are all the different functions and you have on options to for each Q bank um, play around with these see what works for you see what works for your show and uh, have fun Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. 
Also, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, just tap on the icon above me. You want to check out more quick tips or other tutorials? Just check out the links over here. See you in another video.